Hello there and welcome back. You can buy salsa, but not tortilla chips. Yes, in Maine and Missouri, residents on food stamps could soon have fewer food choices at the supermarket. A Missouri House bill would prohibit almost a million people from using their snap to buy cookies, chips, soda, energy drinks, steak, and seafood. Mm -hmm. An opinion piece in the Washington Post notes, quote, if the bill becomes law, a Missourian can't buy a can of tuna with an EBT card. The writer adds... In America today, being poor is tantamount to a criminal defense, one that costs you a number of rights and untold dignities, including, apparently, the ability to determine what foods you can put on your own dinner table. Now, uh, Matt, you said in the green room that the government knows best <laughs> yeah. what you should uh, put in your body and what people should include in their diets. That actually surprised me about you. I, I never heard you articulate that <laughs> position before. It's... Uh you know, Scott Walker wants to drug test people who uh, receive uh, welfare true. benefits, which is kind of... We have this weird thing. Like, we give the Steinbrenner family a billion dollars to build a stadium, and we, no one talks about, like, let's make sure that they're spending that money uh, only on really nutritious hot dogs and this kind of thing. But <laughs> anytime we give money to a poor person, everyone freaks out, and we have to craft a better, uh, you know, dietary uh, program with all of this. That said, the writer of this op-ed is very irritating. At some point, like, uh, you know... When you take your money and mm -hmm. give it to other people, there's you are going to be interested in how they spend it. It's kind of human nature. Yeah. And sorry. And Scott Walker not only wants to drug test people on welfare, he also wants to accept big subsidies to build sports stadiums. Oh, yeah, he wants to build the Bucks a new arena. Hip-o-crit. Uh, now, Joanne, you subsist almost ex exclusively on wine, <laughs> kale smoothies, and Funyuns. Now, what do you make of this, and are you allowed to buy any of those things with your ABT card? Um, well, I cannot uh, independently provide for myself, uh, so I, I can't make autonomous decisions about my health thing, and well-being. Oh, no. No, no. Yeah. It's a conscious choice. Yeah. I just can no longer lift my hand yeah. to my mouth. <laughs> no. But you think that if the government is giving you money, the government should mm -hmm. be able to say what yes, goes you're about it. What they have done is they have claimed a certain responsibility over you. Uh, they're also going to be most likely paying for your health care. So it would make sense that you would want people to be fueling their bodies and have healthy body, healthy in, healthy out. So what stinks, though, is that the healthiest food is often the most expensive. Mm. So people can't provide. So then you're just living on canned food, which is full of preservatives and all these other issues. So I, it, we're, no one's really getting any good side of this deal, really. So, uh, Andy, isn't yeah. that the best argument against single-payer universal nationalized health care? It's a good one. Thank I like you. it. Thank I like you it. very it's a much. Good well, thank, yeah. thank Joanna. Yeah, actually. Thank you, Joanna. I didn't, I didn't say that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I, I agree. It sounded great. <laughs> Look, the host told me to thank you, so okay. I, I thank you. You're um, welcome. Um, this is not just a junk food ban, though. You're not allowed to buy fish or steak. Yeah. Uh, I guess not the, even tilapia? Well, I think the argument is that they claim that I guess there was, they found one guy in one state was buying crab legs with his EBT card, and they thought, well, that's not cool. There are people who can't afford crab legs. But you can buy cheap seafood, and then you can buy cheap steaks. So the idea of just, I mean, as someone pointed out, you can't buy technically a can of tuna yeah. with your EBT card under this. There's a lot of mercury in that. It's yeah. true. It's true. Not uh, necessarily, though. I mean, they've done all sorts of uh, adjunct testing to some of those preliminary perceptions. And I have to say, tuna, twice a week, actually quite safe. <laughs> It's not long words, though. Well, you know what? They don't necessarily <laughs> fit together, but I'm glad you went with me on that. Joe... Salsa without chips, That's that is cruel. cruel and unusual. Yeah, here you go. Dig your fingers into this, loser. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you eat it off your gold charge card? Uh, it's gazpacho! <laughs> uh, thank you, Uncle Sam. Uh, I, think, I think you're right, Matt, in that the, however you feel about this, the woman who wrote the story was, was pretty irritating. To say, um, to, to imply like, well, what gives people the right to be involved in, well, because other people are paying for yeah. the food you're eating. And I think once you, you've, you've made that jump, I mean, I understand people go through hard times and things like that, but you, you, there's, you don't just get the stuff. You don't just get the things without giving up something. And if you, if you have to put your pride aside, I mean, it's unfortunate, but you have to. And I think what she misunderstood, uh, when people look at someone who's buying a lot of junk food with something like that, we don't think, oh, we hate this poor person. I think you think, well, they're spending this on party food. 
and that the the, the the resources that are allocated for this are limited. Yeah. So you think maybe there's someone who wants to buy healthy food for their child, but because this person is buying this crap, their other person's not getting the money. So we're not judging them on like, oh, you're being poor. It's like uh, whenever I see uh, someone in front of me, however they're paying, if a woman's buying pop tarts and and soda and all that stuff, I think, oh, you're. A Mom, you're giving your kid diabetes, and that's why you, you always know. cut her in line. I always yeah. do. I push, yeah. I push you mean, her out of the way. She cut her out of masses. line, cut in front of her, or actually cut her with a shiv. Because <laughs> that's uh, that's a bit aggressive. What if po people could only eat po boys? I think that would solve everything. Well, as long as the shrimp was baked and not fried, yes. I'd actually be okay with it. Right. Ever had a crab po boy? Delicious. Yeah. No, but I'm totally willing to try. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, good luck getting that on your EBT card. <laughs> And it would have to be a gluten. What if you could only boring. buy cigarettes and booze on your What if Michelle card? Obama decides what you eat for what? breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Matt? How do you know she doesn't? <laughs> yeah, with you, you know what? You run in pretty impressive circles. <laughs> Touche, mon frere. Uh